Hey friends, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up With The Pom Poms. My name is Shantae, and in this tutorial, we have the beautiful Lonnie, my middle child, and I decided to play around with some puzzle parts. It was Autism Awareness Month last month, so these are some styles that I was inspired by to try out for Autism Awareness. So we're gonna show you how we achieve these looks as well as the products that we use, and we're gonna talk about the longevity of these styles. Let's get into it. Of course, before we go any further, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey friend, hey bestie, hope you are being safe and blessed as always. So here we have Kehlani freshly washed and my first product is going to be the Pretty Strands Leave-In Conditioner. I speak highly of this leave-in conditioner every time I use it. It's very lightweight and I love that I can just kind of just build it up as I go. If I feel like I need more product, I can do that without feeling like I'm making the girl's hair feel like gunky and just have this weird texture. So I'm going to section off Kehlani's hair into pretty much three main sections. We have this front part, this middle piece, and then the very back. And y'all know I love me some clean parts and I go in with the Shine Effects Conditioning Gel. So we're gonna start in the very back section and I'm just going to keep this one whole. I decided not to divide this up, but to do a puzzle part, we're pretty much just making a half circle out of whatever piece you want to take it out of I decided to take it out the piece that I was working with and if you want to you can kind of flip it around and do a half circle on the other side of that part it's all up to you I will have to say that you do have to be strategic on how you place these puzzle parts I found that it was a lot easier on getting that like puzzle part look if I put that half circle piece in a section of the hair that was like pretty much like a straight line. If I put it near a tight circle, like her edges or anything like that, once you kind of pull that hair into a ponytail, it can kind of distort the parting of that puzzle part and it just looks weird. And y'all know I love clean parts. So that was an issue for me and I did redo a self, several of her ponytails because of that. Once I have her hair into a ponytail using two rubber bands to secure it, I'm going in with the Pretty Strands Butter Benefits. This is pretty much a buttercream hair style is very lightweight and whipped and I'm just adding it while I twist her hair I decided I want to do the chain link twist which is where you do two individual twists twisted in the same direction and then you twist them together twisting in the opposite direction and it kind of makes like this interlocking chain link kind of braid and I always find them interesting I do them on boot all the time so I decided to try them out on Kehlani now we're going in with the middle part and pretty much those same methods using gel to clean up your parts and it makes it a whole lot easier when trying to do a precision like clean part when you have gel on that section I'm doing the same thing here I'm securing her hair with two black rubber bands and then I'm doing another chain link braid on this section as well So in the bottom part, I did one ponytail. In the middle part, I did two ponytails. And in the very front, we did three going across. And that is it. I added in a couple of colorful hair ties and some pom-poms and she was good to go. This style lasted her four days until it was time to restyle. And this is what she was looking like on that fourth day. She was in desperate need of a restyle and some moisture. So the first product that we are gonna go in with is some good old H2O. So for this style, I want to create three ponytails. So what I'm doing is doing a side deep part and then I'm coming across to the ear. So it's pretty much an L-shaped part that we're doing. And she's gonna have this one ponytail kind of off to the side and two in the back. Of course, I'm pulling out my gel to do my nice clean parts. And it also helps with her hair being wet too because it helps with those flyaways and that frizziness. And she is definitely experiencing some frizzy hair on day four hair. These styles are very simple. Probably the only thing that may be tedious is just trying to do those puzzle part half circles. And again, making sure your placement is going to be key. Like for this piece, I kind of did this kind of low towards the nape of her neck. And I probably should have centered it a lot better because once I pulled her hair up into the ponytail, it did kind of distort that half circle that it didn't really look like much of a puzzle part. And this probably was my least favorite style that we did this week as well. 
The products for this hairstyle, the only thing I'm really going in with is just some water and the conditioning gel, and that is it. I didn't reapply the leave-in conditioner or the butter bene butter benefits cream because her hair was I was pretty heavy with that butter benefits that I could still kind of feel it kind of building up on the shaft of her hair. So I did not want her to experience a bunch of product buildup. And her wash day is coming up in like another couple of days. We're just finishing out the school week with this hairstyle. Um, so just adding the water was all she really needed and then of course the gel to make sure those edges are laid and those parts are clean i decided to go in with some regular plaits for her braids and then i also added in some bows as her accessories because i love me some bows on my girls and she was good this style lasted her until uh wash day which was uh, three days away Now we are on her last style and we are into the new school week. So this is over the weekend. I believe this is Sunday night. That's usually when I do the girls wash day. So she is freshly washed again and immediately going in with some gel to clean up my part. I did a part going from ear to ear across the crown. And for this one, I'm doing pretty much a bunch of decorative puzzle parts in the front half of her head. And then the back, we're just gonna pull it into a simple ponytail. So since last week, we did a lot of style manipulation with Kalani this week, will be this will be her only style so i get a lot of concern that people feel like i do a little too much with my girl's hair especially for instagram because i restyle y'all do have to understand i have a three girls so i am endlessly and always doing hair every single week you, you may see a bunch of Kalia photos and that's because Alani and Boo are probably taking a break you may see a bunch of Boo photos and that's because Alani and Kalia may be taking a break so they kind of rotate out so I do like a week where they probably do like maybe two or three styles a week and then that following week they'll probably get that one just for school so their hair is done and I don't want nobody talking about my kids hair not being done in the school and then you know I'll let them allow them to rest their hair and just rock that one hairstyle for the week so for Kehlani this will be her style for the week until we redo her hair again for the next watch day which will be that following weekend so that's just kind of how their hair routine is they have a week where they get styled two to three times a week that following week they get that one style and that's one and done for them so just kind of like give y'all a little insider on the girls maintenance because a lot of people really think that I overdo it on their hair and I really don't. I take care of their hair and plus if I did do a lot of style manipulation they would not experience the growth that they see now and their growth has been amazing. So once I have did my cute decorative puzzle parts in the front i'm pulling everything to the back once i have it completely detangled and the product i'm going in with is going to be the pretty strands leave-in conditioner and it is very lightweight smells good and i just love the mist that it leaves on her hair so this helps soften her hair and i'm going to use two hair ties to pull all this back and then i'm going to go in with my with two additional products the curls pop in pineapple collection i used to use this product all the time on kehlani i always thought it did very good on her hair so i'm going in with that leave-in conditioner first i know i kind of piled up two leave-in conditioners one is kind of a mist this one's more of a cream so i feel like it gives her like a little bit more moisture like that conditioning kind of feel and then i'm gonna go in with the jelly now this of course is just a, a pretty much a, a gel it is a gel and this is what's going to help with her frizz and to smooth out her curls and then i'm gonna go in with my boar bristle brush this cute little brush i purchased off of amazon and i smooth those products through and just kind of twirl it around my finger so she has this nice little spiral and i'm gonna leave it just like that and allow it to dry overnight and as you can see homegirl was falling asleep on me so i squish all those products together and that is it once we dry in the morning i take it apart and this is what she's looking like she has this nice full ponytail with all the curls in the world i'm going in with the bto scalp a finishing oil just to help with her scalp nourishment we don't want any dry scalp or flaking or anything like that and she is ready for school this is what she will be wearing for the rest of the week until wash day
so thank you guys for joining us on a, another video we greatly appreciate having y'all here and if you made it throughout this entire video thank you so much from the bottom of our heart don't forget to share this video to all your social media platforms to check out any other tutorials you would love to see on the girls we appreciate having y'all be blessed and be safe